The Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue kicked off on Tuesday with speeches from German Vice-Chancellor Robert Habeck and Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock. The conference is paving the way for energy to become 100% renewable. We visited one of Berlin's disused airports ahead of the conference to find out exactly how the future of renewables could work. Here at the ehemaligen Flughafen Tegel, which ja is one of the biggest Projekte in ganz Europa ist, sind wir die Pioniere der Anfang dieser Entwicklung. Hier sollen in den nächsten Jahren sollen in den nächsten Jahren die Stadt der Zukunft errichtet werden und erfunden werden. Und wir sind hier mit aktuell 17 verschiedenen Startups vor Ort und entwickeln die Lösungen, die die Stadt der Zukunft braucht. It is estimated that the climate neutral city will create up to 20,000 jobs with several companies already working together on harnessing renewable technology. The Stoffs Fire project combines energy storage with the production of hydrogen. So we want to make 100% renewables possible with our device and what we need for that in order to end our fossil fuel dependence is green energy. And in Germany, we already have lots of renewables, three, four times of what we actually need. And that problem is just going to increase going forward. So we need to think about battery storage. With Europe determined to wean itself of Russian gas, the HH2E project has been ahead of the curve by trying to develop technology to integrate hydrogen into the main grid. Langfristig werden die Energiepreise senken, aber wir brauchen eben schon jetzt den Machochlauf aktiv unterstützen, um eben dieses Ziel zu erreichen. This year, the Stoff 2 team are presenting their technology to the Energy Conference, hopeful it will be the start of making renewable energy more accessible to the market. This technology is already being rolled out to the first customer later this year. With funding of the project expecting to surpass 100 million euros, it will need government financing to become part of the mainstream energy infrastructure. Liv Stroud, in Berlin, for Euronews.